Hello everyone, so talking about some local issues here, thankfully one of the issues I'm going to talk about here uh, is to solve one of the cases, I suppose you could say, or what it's happening at the moment. I wouldn't call it an issue, but one of the things. Um, but yeah, thankfully it's been resolved. So finally it's been resolved again. As you know, the bus station in Calvin Town was closed uh, when COVID obviously came. It had a restaurant there and you can go to the toilet thing off the bus if you're going to Donegal or wherever. Uh, and unfortunately that was closed obviously because COVID and things and it hasn't opened up. Uh, but I'm happy to hear from uh, Deputy Brandon Smith and Deputy Neve Smith um, that um, Bo uh, Bus Erwin, uh is intending to open the next month, which is very, very good news. Uh, not just for, you know, the people going on the bus, obviously the cat hold, the cat hold, the, the cat damage the liver to her and back. Um, so obviously that's a place kind of for, to get off and get off, get off the bus and go to the toilet. Or, again, there was a shop there, there was a bit of a bakery there. Um, and you could have a meal there, and there was nice meals there. I used to have my meals sometimes there too. So it's good to see that uh, coming back uh, for both of us. So thank you um, to Deputy Brandon Smith and Neve Smith, all the other politicians here in County Councils, uh, who pushed for this to happen. I, didn't, I had very little to do with anything uh, to do with it. Um, because, again, I, I, I'm scared after last year what I had to deal with the bus um, I, don't, I don't want to, I don't, as far as I don't want to get involved with them as much as humanly possible. Um, I'd be a great minister for transport, wouldn't I? But yeah, and the second thing of, of local issue um, is to do with the Paul Clare's monument. Uh, as you know, the convent that went on fire in 1943. Uh, it's coming up on the... Uh, coming up on... Uh, uh, it, it's 1943, it's 60th anniversary, am I right? Saying 60th, 70th anniversary. Um, so yeah, and obviously the time of the monument, and obviously I fully support that. Um, I fully support uh, a monument. I don't know where you would put it. Loads of people saying to me, where would you put the monument? Um, because again, the signature signatures have been signed, uh, and given to the local authority three thousand I think two years ago was given in, um. So yeah, obviously I I lent my support to that, uh, what he caused, and obviously it's good to remember, um, people when they pass on, uh, and especially in tragic circumstances as that, uh, as you know, loads of children, um, twenty four children, uh, born to death, uh, in the poor class convent. Um, and it's important to remember, and it's important to remember, to remember them. It's important. Uh, and a, a monument is the best thing and the best way of remembering something, uh, or remembering an event, uh, and learning from mistakes. Um, but yeah, and obviously I do take my opinion again. A few people ask where do I think it goes? You wouldn't really put it on the main street there. The main street where Pro Clares is there now. Um, you wouldn't put it there. And the, you besides those stores there, there's not much place. Um, there. But I say somewhere in Consummate Park, I'd be beside the play playground or make behind the playground where there's a bandstand. I say somewhere along there, maybe you could put a monument there. Um, a little a memorial garden, if you may use that too. Um, but again, that's, that's just my opinion. Because uh, I don't see where else you would put it. I know a few people ask me where the, where the portrait of the was, it was granted. Uh, and I don't know, that's the thing. I, 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 that's just my assumption. I would say that would be the best place. In my opinion, I don't think there's any other space you would put them in unless you put it behind the Tesco car back though. Uh, which I don't know where you would tell them where you would put it. Um, but because uh, again, it, it probably wouldn't be a small monument in other words too, but I do lend my support to that uh, for what it calls. Um, but yeah, that's just what to bring attention to. Um, so hopefully that will, hopefully that does go through and hopefully there'll be a monument there. Um, soon. I haven't heard much updates on that. I've known the Anglo South covered it a few weeks ago. Um, again, the reason why I bring this up, a few people talk to me about it, but the, where would they put a monument? Uh, asking for my opinion on what, where they think would be the best place for a monument. And, you know, I just said where I thought it would be the best place for it. Um, when I obviously do support fully um, a monument put up um, there. Um, to remember them, to remember them poor kids and the and adult who died in that fire, uh, in nineteen forty three. But yeah, uh, that's that's all I said at the moment. So yeah, take care everybody and bye.